Well, I don't know. Really. Well, I'm not back to Greenland. Um, I've already mentioned to go the other side of the team that was in Troll Russell. That's why you see the short, the short qualifying to some places. We're not going to go for the broken ramp. It's been pushed out of the way now since production in 20. Let's go upstairs and meet our agent. Yes, and I respect that. But my client has a championship to contest. So if you want our participation, I'm afraid the concessions are mandatory. Yes, that's fine. Get back to me when you can. Goodbye. No one ever just signs the contract. Anyway, thanks for coming by on such short notice. I just needed to cover a couple of quick things with you before you race. Firstly, as requested, there's a copy of your contract. It's a rolling deal. However, the team reserves right of termination if you fail to meet performance standards. Your second driver for now, but work hard, hit your targets, and I'll be able to sweeten the deal. I'm also looking to get you into some invitational events throughout the season. The experience and exposure from these will be great for your image. Plus, you'll get to drive some nice historic cars. Now then, go get ready for the next session, and good luck. So yes, that's our agent, Emma, and we're going to have the contract, and we're down the possibilities. Those umbrellas look absolutely amazing. Toros, sir, if you want to send me an umbrella, or if you buy that to buy one, because I look all in practice. Yes, here we are, we're upstairs now, outside in the open, it's nice. Bit of fresh air. Obviously, if it's raining, it's not going to be out. It's be interesting to see if it rains, they stick us outside anyway. I go through the laptop, we've got vehicle management as well. So, and engine gearbox management, that stuff there, which we can manage over the course of this year, over the course of this season, which I shall be showing a little bit. But here we are in practice now. If you watch my previous career, my episodes, you will notice that um, I've got five. Programs this year instead of three. Now, the first one is the track acclimatization, which is basically the same as last year, just get the horse. I always take this in the because um, it's no need to rush. You're not supposed to get back to time, just making sure you get used to the track. This is very good to um, somebody who doesn't know track, or maybe turn off racing mode. I'm racing on all the corners. Um, just so when I do have to turn off assists, braking or whatever, I know I'm going to brake. But I don't know what's suited. Some people don't want 3D, I'm not really in line on 3D. Because 2D wasn't available back in the day. This is the tire wear test, as usual, as opposed to nothing that's changed in 2016 rounds test in Europe. And pretty much And one thing to notice is that 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 green that surface might be a whole the green. Otherwise if it's on the border between red and green, it treats it as it treats as a red. Well, if I'm basically going to ask back, so it's going to be a bright test. This was pretty tough to get, obviously, the cars. I had a good pace in the corners. I did change the setup from the bus to the practice. I just won't tear up my bed set up because I don't know what to do. Obviously, I'm going to set up the same I'm going to shoot my set up. I'm going to get 
to practice the aggressive research. Then we've got our race set up where it tells you how much time you've got in the time you need to travel. And how much time you should look out on that lap and the brakes. We didn't really complete, we didn't actually complete that because um, we had to switch and we went actually went out. We actually got out of fuel. 18th place at the end of practice. The best of each time. Quick look at the classification at the end of the session then. Here are your top three. Raikkonen, Vettel and Max Verstappen. Only the that concludes is an interesting now. practice. Let's go and meet Chris. He's in the truck. Ah, you got my message. Perfect. Welcome to home away from home. We get more real-time data from the factory now than ever before, and it all comes through here. So I have to spend more time checking over the reports, and less time hunting you down in the hospitality suite. And to that end, we... Sorry, just a sec. Yeah, Chris here, is this important? I'm in the middle of something. Huh, okay. Right. Well, that makes no sense. Have Sarah reset the simulation and run it again. Okay. Sorry about that. As I was saying, we've set up a desk for you at the front here. You can get onto the network from your laptop, so make sure to check the R&D screen regularly. And let us know how you want to use the data that we've collected over the weekend and through the practice programs. Also, Bear in mind that the news from the factory won't always be good. Sometimes tests fail, like you've seen just now. And when that happens, we have to divert additional resources to fix it. C'est la vie, I'm afraid. Yeah, what I've seen of other people's career mode, if that part does fail, then um, you have to pay more resource points. Yeah, um, get resource points for practice programs. Future videos, you won't see any of the practice stuff at all, just qualify and race. But those practice programs, I shall be running through. And obviously, there's any R&D stuff that um, be upgrading that in that in an episode. Then obviously, I shall be sh I shall show that to you guys, so you are. Right. But obviously, we're there's four sections: so there's durability, all the different like there was last year. There's different. Obviously, some of them link to others. So, I think pretty much Adrenalix is not really a thing. Um, we're going to up to uh, confirm the development of the hatch. look at the clarity path so we can get ahead of Red Bull and Renault. That's just. Tor Russell have always had a low drag setup. And obviously, we're going to up to that on the arrow. So we can catch up to that jump up the cloud as well. So hopefully that will help us. There's obviously a time it takes to get two weeks. I think that's supposed to be two. But all these other things which, which helps speed up and make sure we can pass things. And we've got these crosses as well, which basically about development upgrade speeds etc etc you get the idea basically just helps the efficiency of the team in the, in the, uh, the battery of our raids and also the team as well so we get it's not efficiency so we, get, so we can actually improve our pit stops this year that's an added that's an added thing from previous games because previously we couldn't do anything about pit stops now it's more and more happens it's obviously got the release which I'll show you later. Thanks. Guess who made the gossip columns this morning? Everyone's talking about this new rival you have. Check his stats out. That's the um the 
rivalry. Obviously, it's to our teammate as it was last year. Nothing really changed. There is our teammate. Hi, it's Emma. Your qualifying goals came up in the board meeting this morning. Here's what to expect. Well, at least they've improved the session goals. So they want you to finish 13, which is not going to because we're so slow. Hopefully, when we get more used to it, as as um, if you've seen one of my videos previously, you'll know that I got better. I always have better race pace than uh, qualifying pace. Other than that, um, other than that, um, qualifying is never go well. So let's get ready. the fuel limit no. let's go out for a run on the track actually don't have to drive out because we've got to the 86 but we can go to the straight line which is excellent so handling no, I just agree with the soil if you've watched the previous episode, which is the production, I think you can check that out. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I want to see more than 170 videos as well. Here we are, so I'm fine, but walked into the second car, one of my team. So, that's unfortunate. That will be a little bit about what the second car coming up on the screen. So I'm going to show you the first map. And Australia is up. I want to make sure you don't take that, too much of that curve because it slows you down. And again here. You can run wide on that one, that one too much. Here you want to hop the car and then let it go out to the next side. Under braking, hit too much. So run wide on that one. Well, don't I need a spin wide on that one. And especially the white one is a spell of white because I'm already on the into this one. So this is always a tricky one. Back about too much white, don't get too much white during this and another white. And that was at a point time on that part. This one is more than white. And this one is always having a bit of white before. They get back on time now. I'm going to be up to this. Second year, third. Now we're in fourth, fourth cut to fifth, straight up to the bottom. The only thing left is one, twenty seven, five. Okay, we're falling down the field, you've dropped to P6. So we're fast in Ericsson, that's good. But here it will explain about one.
Next race, of course, not simply the start of a new season, but the start of a new kind of Formula One. Anthony Davidson, great to have you with us once again. This is a big moment for the sport, big changes to the technical regulations, the potential perhaps to give us the biggest shake-up since 2014, very different cars visually and, fingers crossed, much faster as well. Good thing then that combined these teams put in just a shade over 13,000 kilometres on the clock during testing. The cornering speed of these new machines is absolutely unbelievable. How many lap records are still held by Michael Schumacher from 2004? Well, on the right day, on the right tyres, we might just be threatening them this year. Wider tyres, wider cars, more downforce. I have to say they look great and the qualifying spectacle is undebatable. Now the big question remains, can they follow? Can they race? Or have these new rules gone too far? So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying... No, let's not remind me of the pain. In, hi in hindsight, what we should have done is take the fifth engine. So, waste pressure. 29 laps. One stop. Not to lower the fuel level. I think it's those practice programs. So, it's the race strategy one we did. We had to run the bridge to make it time. All the formation that yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we we'll see pull away. You'll have a bit more grip than that on the start, but we need to warm the tires properly now. Make sure you get some heat in the brakes as well. So go to super soft as sauce. I believe life. Maybe they've got ultra soft as super sauce. There's Vatten, he's elite, he's on pole. Now, here we go. Ready, try, red, and career mode the 27th of 2017 is out of the way. The journey has begun. We go all the way, move down into turn one and as a dive on the car. Always come up to the teammate, get hot by Max, on the side of the other move down towards turn three we're going to have a massive dive a collision with that's one in also leads and over to the arm as well so move up to the so that's a good start and it's a good start we can dive up absolutely over which is just a big step that way unfortunately the earlier laps did not board Stops as well on the top. I'm not 
it it's so oh my god it's turning from once you have to engage the pit actively which is why why not so let's go into the pits That was a good release as well, 2.5 seconds off. Um, I think it was. Yeah, I was just released the pin, so that's what I mean. Why? So, I think I had E16 that high for armor and that. No, 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 I think you have to stop armor. It's two stops to do. But, move to the end of that 14. My teammate comes out, so we actually got to be 14. All over the park, we do up to E13. You have to be more nice in your taste. The end of the whole over. Oh no, this is sorry, this is a replay of our overtake of a bit of a walk. Here we are, lap 15, closing up to Pascal Burbank, who start, start losing traction in that. Those more suicide targets. Loses a bit to the um, left hand chart, left hand. Yeah, look at this direction, it's still going on, which is just not some suspect factors. Some times who are who went in there with the sound of my with last year's end. It's doing okay, um, this is a 12, obviously. Oh, but it's behind us. I think how else as well. I'm gonna have a look down the inside of, of Berlin and that is up to the 12 block on its head second up the road. So we're not going to get you so, Yeah, we're in a tire also. So as we go back inside, that forces Berlin wide. And here comes Palmer, who, as we switch from the helicopter to the zero, he gets some space on the outside and gets loaded down. Now I need to get this corner, and that is our moment at boot lap 16. Um, still going. Tires are working well, fine, it's the MGP payout. Few people are coming into the pits. Most of the head backs that's gone on. Vicky Stark Sots went to Super Sots, so that this is up here like Hulk work ahead as well. I think he's done a two stop. Not to soft suit, soft suit. But here is Sergio Perez at Mines. He has overtaken Jody Palmer. Sun, super soft, went to the soft, ultra soft. So, I don't know if he's doing a two stop or what. He's been on those ultras for a long time now. How is he's going to have a little down us now? Giving up down the inside. But, leave the even space, a little bit of space on it, and don't want to rise line too much. Yeah. Move it down to lap 20 now. Paris wants to get the slipstream, but he pulls to the side, and we've been behind me. Another engine power, so that's not, I don't know, because there's no smoke, so it's too mechanical for time in this race. Stroll being that one. So that is Actually, to our teammate on our side has moved up to 12 behind us. So, it'll be interesting to see what he can do against us. Carlos has not really had the pace what we call this week. Or this race, but. Uh, lap 26, Magnuson has finally got waken up with Super Sons and has overtaken Carlos for P12. He is going to be our gearbox. This is not. This is a part lot faster than the Lap 27 now. Notice we might have a red Ferrari. Spicy pepper. If you look at all the displays, you may notice there's no blue X. So that is another fault you can have. As a result of this, we're going to keep some fast in battle. Seconds. We're going to have a little race with Sebastian Bastard to see what we can do. See how, if 
from something against us. See how good this trial loss really is against the Ferrari. If we get a little bit of a dig now, we're obviously going to let the parts of something. And up the inside, the top part is this line, the back to back. We've only back to the left. Thank you, Jack. Obviously, it ended some better was on the last lap now, so we're going to let it pass at the end of the lap. So, I'm going to take the extra lap on the save the advantage, but we are going to keep behind this point as it's as a bit of a lap since this is pretty heavy. So, best to protect it is from the banks. And it goes on the inside. We're going to get back to the switch to the bottom. A bit more fuel than we have using lean. So these cars are more fuel based. We're gonna go down the inside, metal locks up, we're gonna take a big advantage of the locks banks as well as the tree. So here then um for this race is probably gonna be that because we're gonna ramp by the corner slow up better as go past we're going to accelerate, and that's going to be a lap. Can't complain about that one. That was an excellent drive. <laughs> yes, but it, we were helped by a massive, massive back drive. Pop. Learn the place, I'll take it. Be our teammate as well, which is very important for the team positioning as well. Future. A great win then for the Marinello team today. So, here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands, and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari, on the top step once more. And now, on, let's take a look at the driver's standings. Sebastian Vettel takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship after that excellent result. And now I'd like so to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I think I'll have to give it to the Toro Rosso driver. They fought so course, hard and had incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone else did a better job today. On to the constructors nice. then. Ferrari moved to the top of the table. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling instalment of this Formula One season. So, yeah, um, two times. Um, Mercedes not there. And I can't. Red Bull are trying to match Mercedes in that way, so it's a bit interesting. We obviously down the bottom. There's no points today. It's not a good track for us. Get 294 resource points. It's time to meet now. Let's be, just do the rivalry. It's time to meet a rich man who has a few cars sitting in his garage. After we have the team approval rate, lost a bit to force the Indian Renault with racing with them, gained a big chunk with Ferrari. So, Red Bull, a little bit with Red Bull, McLaren and Sauber, so that's good for us. Anyway, let's meet a very big, big, big rich man who has a few classic cars available. I can't drive it because he can't handle the damn force. Risk or make much this. You know, we got risk. Is this the one? Indeed, it is. And this is Jonathan. He's going to let you drive some of his cars. Well, not quite my cars per se. It's a detail you know I'd really rather be down there racing than myself to be honest I'm actually quite handy behind the wheel but uh, it's the downforce those lateral G's you know the old neck can't really handle it so I need a pro and that's where you come in we run in a bunch of events throughout the year time trials races all sorts and I have it on good authority that you have the ability and temperament to do well in these our business look good and most importantly bring the cars back in one piece <laughs> so consider this a formal invitation 
I'll see you at the track. That is John. He needs to play some characters. The game. He needs going to be basically enrolled in classic cars into the game in a few races. Where I think there's going to be twenty. So we're going to do the pursuit race. Oh, twenty-six. Brand Japan. Hello again, and thank you for joining us today for one of the few events this year that won't have a critical impact on the World Championship. So maybe we can all relax just a little bit more and enjoy the action from this wonderful field of historic cars. Okay. Um, the, chart, the, the goal is to finish the battle basically. Listen to me. Go, go, go! Bob down on this I think the rest just come out with this. Need to bear that in mind for future races in this in this car. Yeah, I'm going to leave him to, to listen to the engine so to come back and watch me like a mountain. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a like if you like. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Take care.